everyone this is Jom from Civil Center and welcome to our channel as we know Civil Center is continuously working with a vision to guide civil engineering student and professional and for that we keep making videos on different topics and on different software related to civil engineering field so we have started this initiative on tecla structures where we are working on a steel project so we have done a lot of things and our model is almost complete so today we are going to learn about boq that is bill of quantity so let's start so guys this is our model and in this we have to generate the bill of quantity so for that we will go to manage and from there we will go to organizer okay so we have to just click over there and the organizer will open up now over here you can see all the materials that we need to work on okay so first of all let's uh, check about the assemblies so you can see we have 337 assemblies over there and you can see the count then the assembly mark then the numbers and the name description what is the net weight cross weight and each and everything is over here then it is also showing the phase okay so like this it is uh, like uh, giving you the description so it is beam and the number of beams are eight over here with the profile of the beam as this one then this weight is in kg okay so we can also change the unit from here so this setting sign over there you can see you have to just click on open settings and from here you can change the units so you have to go to units and if i want to make it into kg then i will simply turn it into kg and what is the precision that you want to select you can simply just decide from here so first of all i am just uh, keeping it at zero precision okay now if you, if you want to increase the precision then you can also do that by units and go ahead and let's uh, make it precise till the two digit after the decimals okay so you can see how precise it is for us okay next thing is about the steel parts so similarly you have to just go over there and you have to choose the steel parts over here so if you have defined the material then this will come like this like over here for this section the material has been defined if you have not defined the material then it will come as steel undefined or if it is a concrete material it will come as concrete undefined and you will get each and everything like the profiles that you have selected like over here you can see different profiles p 10 by 120 then 10 by 150 then p l 10 by 180 so like that you will find a number of profiles so we have changed it according to our need and all the profiles are visual over here along with the material that has been assigned to them and the quantity like how many of them has been used also you can see the lengths in mm then the area in meter square so you can also change the like unit of the area weight and everything so weight is in kg over here suppose you want to get it into mm square then you can also get that like uh, again i have to go over there change the units and i want it to be in millimeter square okay so i have to just go for that then uh, let's make it a millimeter cube for the volume and then close it then you will see the area in millimeter square okay now so that is the one thing that has to be done over here now if it has anything else to show then it can also show that okay now let's check for the other things like the bolts okay so you have can see we have 193 by 7 72 bolts over here and what you can see in this you can see the bolt dia okay so what dia of the bolt has been used over here then the bolt length then the bolt is standard bolt name like which bolt has been used so over here we have just this bolt and then what is the nut name what is the nut number what is the washer name that has been used so all these things are to define the bolt so what kind of bolt and how many in number you want that you can see from here okay so bolt is done then the welds then the components everything can be clearly like specified from the bill of quantity and you can just ask for the material that has been that will be required on the site okay so like this you have to just prepare the bill of quantity so you don't have to like spend a lot of time like uh, preparing the bill of quantity manually and each and everything will be 
very accurate so if you want to check the accuracy then you can also do that okay so you can just uh, prepare this model and you can go ahead and calculate the bill of quantity from your side also and let me know if you are getting the same answer or not so guys i hope this have video has been useful for you so if you have liked this video hit the like button share it with your friends and colleagues and subscribe to our channel and also if you want to start your own consultancy firm or you want to get professional training in any of the civil engineering softwares then you can just go ahead and check out the link in the description and register yourself and our team will connect with you till then take care bye bye